Who wants to see all the crap I carry around? You do. Kim here from the past. That's right, I am currently traveling. So when you see this video, I will not actually be here in my living room. I will be far away from it, which is a super yay because I really, really, really need to travel. I think I'm dying inside. I thought since there would be a forthcoming travel vlog, I would show you what is in my travel bag, affectionately referred to as my gear bag. I'm not actually cool enough to have like gear, but I like to say that because it makes me sound like I know what I'm doing. Really quickly, before we start digging through all my personal belongings, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't already. I make videos every Tuesday about my life as an entertainer, but sometimes this entertainer has to travel because she just can't sit still for very long. So you also get travel-related stuff sometimes. Yay. Let's look in my bag. Oh my gosh, this thing is so heavy already. There will also be linky links in the description below for anything I can find a linky link for. Full disclosure, I am expecting a brand new backpack in the mail. Any minute now, it's not here yet. This bag very tragically um, has a hole right here and right here. So that's not really a very safe bag to be carrying around a camera and equipment. So we're getting a new one. Super yay. I've been saying super yay a lot recently. I might have to make that a thing. Let me know in the comments below if you want that on a shirt. Oh, there's a hair, look. All right, so here's my travel bag currently. It is this Everest bag that was my backpack the fifth time I went to college. That is a whole rabbit hole that we're not going down today. We're diving in here. The first thing that I see on the top is my tripod. This is a Joby Gorilla Pod. It's the same brand Casey Neistat uses, so I'm fancy. Obviously, I'm a professional. This is the really cool, like, Gorilla Pod, the bendy one that, ooh, does cool things. And it is uh, pretty little and pretty durable, and it holds the camera really great. I just got it, and I love it, and I'm very excited to just have this for travel vlogging. Oh, man, I can get so much um, better footage with, with this nice tripod than holding it in my hand like I've been doing. That was not working for anyone. Now I can make it prettier. Lucky you. What else? Let's keep with the camera motif and uh, tell you that usually my camera is in this bag. I'm filming with the camera that would be in the bag. So I'm just holding up an invisible one because I don't know what else to do with my hands. I do have my Panasonic HCVVCH. Uh, it's this one down here that I put in text because I can never, ever, ever, ever remember what it's called. It doesn't even say right here, I buy it. <sighs> anyway, so camera is in bag in its squishy case. Also, we have backup camera, yay. Uh, Panasonic Lumix TZ57, which is the European version of like the ZS45 or something. This is my old vlogging camera, but it is now my backup camera because it's still a pretty good camera. I just upgraded a little bit with the new and the new penny, but I have this one as a backup for when I need shot upon shot upon whatever slash dead battery. I got a text. And then we have, oh geez, okay, camera bag. This is like my nice cushioned camera thing that they, you know, that holds the cameras and protects them and such because my bag is itself is not a camera bag, so it's not padded or anything. So I put a bag within a bag because bagception, that's just my life. Camera and backup camera go in here along with um, extra filters, my ND filter and such. I have my battery charger for the backup camera and extra battery for the backup camera. I don't have an extra battery for this one yet, which is making my life very sad. We also have a power bank. The flashlight turned on a few moments ago when I was packing this bag and I don't know how to turn it off. This is about to become useless in another hour. Cool. Then I have a hat. This is my um, keep the sun off my face so I can see what I'm filming hat. I do have cuter hats, but this hat is just the kind of dingy looking-ish one. My filming hat is just my filming hat. If I get it dirty or if it falls in the ocean and I have to send husband after it or whatever, like I'm not gonna feel bad that I ruined my really nice hat. I just 
made a dirty hat a little dirtier. This is great because if it's really, really sunny, um, it helps like me be able to see what's going on with the camera more accurately than if I'm wearing sunglasses because then I have a hard time seeing the screen and you know, blah, 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 blah. So this is my filming hat when and it's very super sunny and I have to be in it. Now we have hat hair. Then we have bandana, which this is actually husband's, but we're always together when we're traveling. So I have his stuff in here too. So you get a peek at his life. This is his bandana that makes him look kind of like a pirate. I'm a big fan of that. This just um, keeps the sun off his head. That's all it really is. When he is not in a hat mood. He's only sometimes in a hat mood. He's more often in a bandana mood. So I have his bandana for him because I am a good wife. Okay, then we have a um, very thin jacket. This is my go-to regular summertime jacket. You've probably seen it in other videos, probably a favorites video. It's super, super thin. However, it keeps the sun off me, so I don't have to wear quite as much sunblock. I hate wearing sunblock, but I hate getting any color on my skin or a sunburn, even worse than wearing sunblock. This is still better than sunblock, so I always, always have this in my travel bag or my regular purse all summer long. It lives with me. I got it at Old Navy like three years ago and it's got a hole in it from a campfire. I don't care. I love it. Next, the actual sunblock. Yeah, it is because summer sun, I have to be snow white. You get it. I've ranted about it before. This is the Aveeno Active Naturals Protect and Hydrate Lotion Sunscreen. It's supposed to not feel as gross. This is the first summer I'm trying it. We'll see how it goes. And then my wallet because it's just good to have ID and or money on you when you are places. And then we have no less than three water bottles. Husband has a water drinking problem. Actually, it's kind of a really good habit that I wish I had myself, but he drinks like four water bottles a day. But I always have three water bottles, one for me, two for him. Hydration, wonderful when hiking and or traveling and or living. Gotta be hydrated. That's all that's in the big pouch. Then there's the front pocket. Let's see what's in there. A book because you never know. I am who I am. My phone for taking pictures, making important business calls, checking my stupid email. I can't get away from it. Also, third backup camera. Sunglasses. These are really smudgy. Stretchy headband because I'm a girl who has long hair and that gets annoying. My selfie stick, also good for vlogging, also good for selfies. Husband and I actually use the crap out of this. It makes your photos look, oh jeez. <sighs> the selfie stick is actually pretty great because you can hold it at an angle when you take pictures so you don't see like your arms sticking out. You can get it super far away for just better looking um, pictures of things so you can get the background of where you actually are. Really, really love the selfie stick. I never thought I'd be a selfie stick person, but I was freaking devastated when they wouldn't let me have it in Disneyland. That was a trial and tribulation. Okay, ah, two chapsticks. One for me, one for husband. I prefer chapstick brand Strawberry, and he prefers, well, anything really. So I have two just in cases. Oh, there's only one thing left and then you're free to go. A pen, because I'm a writer. Writers gotta write. I always have a pen. You never know. You never, ever, never, ever know. Just like the book, I always have a pen, because you never know. And that's everything that's in my travel bag. In case you're like, I wanna be as cool as Kim and have the stuff that she has, so where can I get it? You can click down there. I hope you found this video enlightening or educational or entertaining or whatever. Hey, it would really help me out if you shared this video. Clickety click the share button down there and send it off to your preferred social media. Consider subscribing to this YouTube channel if you haven't already. I put out videos every Tuesday about my life as an entertainer slash sort of human person. Please remember that I think you're cool beans. Thanks for watching.